go live here. I just want to do a mic check. If you can uh, drop in the chat box, if you can hear me, we will uh, get going. Awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff. Can hear. Awesome. Okay. Where? Well, where's everybody from tonight? I see a lot of regular names. Uh, I'm trying to scroll through. There's tons and tons and tons of people on here. Uh, some regular names look good. Good. Montreal. Awesome. Only a few hours away from me. California, Las Vegas, the Caribbean. Now there's a spot we should all be in right now. New Mexico, Iowa. My big bad buddy there, Dave Classen from Manitoba's on. <laughs> Michigan. Awesome. Straight across. Peru. Now there's a different one. Portugal, 1 a.m. Well, I'll tell you this much. It's well worth being on the call right now. Seattle. Awesome. Holy mackerel. We got anybody from Europe on right now? I know it'd be kind of late there. I was just talking to one of my uh, website guys. He's from the Philippines, and it's like 8 a.m. there. They're 12 hours ahead. Told his butt to get out of bed and do some work. <laughs> Scotland. Bulgaria. Holy mackerel. We do got a diverse crowd on here tonight. I'm excited. That's cool. All right. All right, so tonight, tonight's going to be a little different. I've actually never done a webinar like this before in my entire career of being uh, a teacher of, of Internet marketing and, and business and stuff like that. So this is going to be a little bit different. I've prepared some slides. Uh, now I don't even know if I'm going to go through these. I, I was going through them, and then, you know what, I, I don't know if I wanted to use them or not or if I wanted to switch them out or whatever. I just I just want to get a feel for for what everybody's doing uh, in their life and their business. Uh, you know, if you're having success, or you're not having success. My list is huge, guys. My list is getting super huge. Uh, I, I'm growing it so fast right now that I'm trying to to get that you know that rapport with everybody on there as as best as I can. Um, but it is growing fast, and and as you can see, uh, my list is straight across the world. So it's hard to keep. Uh, in touch with everybody. I, I know quite a few people on my list. Like I said, uh, the names I recognize. Uh, I talk to them on the phone and stuff like that. Uh, but I want to try and, and, and see what we can do and, and see how we can work together. So here's what I want to do. I want to see, I know we got people straight across the world, which is exciting me. And I get excited when I see people from like totally different countries that I've never been to because that means I'm reaching in and I can help you uh, straight across the world. So what, what are you guys doing? Like, if you want to just drop in there real quick. What you're doing for business, what you're doing, if you you know if you have a real career, if you're just getting into internet marketing, if you just saw this thing today because I decided to email you or something, um, just just kind of drop that in there. We're gonna take a few minutes here. There's no real uh, there's no real <laughs> schedule on this webinar, so I'm just gonna kind of try and, and work this through and, and and make you guys some money by the end of it. So hopefully that works out. This is network marketing. He's he's the man. He's got some weird stuff going on network marketing. No, I'm just kidding. Nothing zero nilch. So George, you need to get a business going, or are you just you just waiting for something to happen? Is that what you, what you're looking for? Uh, hey brother, I'm in. <laughs> Troy, my man. <laughs> Amazon, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. Now that now there's a I believe that's a guy straight after my own heart. That's where I play. That's my playground. Work in the car dealer free time. Try to be like you, Aldrin. Where are you from again? I think you put that in the top. Uh, two months in affiliate marketing. Awesome. Just fresh in. Uh, advertising for the last twenty-four years. Taking Pinterest classes. Reinventing myself. Awesome. That's good stuff. Stefan, Bulgaria. Who? Implementing online domination for small businesses. Okay, mostly dentists. All right, that's that's really cool. Easy stuff. Seems to be dentist seems to be like this niche everybody wants to be in. But it, it's if you know what you're doing, you can dominate dominate it for your clients. I'm looking for a straight up program. There's lots of BS out there. That's it, man. 
there's way too much BS. Just had a conversation with a guy on uh, Facebook uh, for about three hours, actually. I don't know if he, I don't want to say his name because he's kind of stays behind the scenes, but this man is a really genuine man. And I've been trying to get in touch with him for about a year, and I finally got in touch with him. I was talking to him for a minute, and uh, he's kind of got the same consensus as us. Everybody's got you know this thing where they're coming out with a program on how to make you rich, but at the end of it, they don't make you rich. And then they try to say at the beginning of it that they're going to make you rich because they're sick of all the BS. And uh, we, were having, we were having a good conversation about that. And if anybody, I mean, the guys that are, I mean, there's a couple hundred people on this call, but the guys that are on my list that know uh, know me, I'm like so far out there. <laughs> I get myself in so much trouble calling people. If you follow me on Facebook, you can see what I mean about two seconds into being a friend of mine on Facebook. Uh, implementing stuff. Yeah, that's me trying to. Ultra Montreal. Okay. You know what's crazy? I wonder if I've run into you. I used to be in the car business. I was hired by a Ford store uh, to be their internet marketer and ended up being that I became the wholesale guy, the used car guy. I sold new cars and uh, I was probably I was the youngest guy in the building. I was 25, so turned 28 right now. Um, I, I was winning Ford awards and everything just through the kind of stuff that I do online. Uh, at the Ford store, so you never know. I might, I might. Have I'm always. I used to be always at the auctions. I was actually on an auction today. I was trying to, trying to find uh, an Escalade. I can't buy them because I don't have a number. But I'm trying to buy an Escalade right now, and I can't find the one I want for the price range I want. <laughs> All right. So it looks like the consensus. Is there anybody that straight up has never done internet marketing before? This is totally oblivious to you. You're just an offline guy. You know, got brick and mortar businesses, and that's what I got, guys. I'm I'm launching something. I can't say anything, but I got offline businesses like crazy, and I'm launching a like a new invention that we came up with. Everything's going through right now. I can't say anything because of all these legal documents, but I got something that's going to be Canada wide and U.S. wide and all the big box stores real soon, probably within the next 45 to 60 days. And it's all because of what I do online that makes me successful offline. Because once you know how to market. You can put any kind of product, anything into that, and it'll work, right? So the guy goes to me, goes, well, you know, what's your market strategy? I don't need no market strategy. What I need to know is can you build this and how fast can you build it? Don't worry about the other end of it because that's, that's what I do. So it's funny. Uh, go to everyone and be writing down your name correctly next time, not Somerville. What happened? What happened? Also, hope go to webinar and be writing down your name. What's what's it say for my name? What do you mean by that? Summer of my name. Artist from Queenstown, New Zealand, with good computer skills, who has Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest numbers. Fourth month research. Awesome. So, like a musician. Good for internet marketing. Try other some so cheap. I don't make so much money. Okay, painting. Artist painting. Oh, okay. Hey, that's cool. That can be a lucrative niche. It says Somerville. You wrote Somerville. Oh. Where? <laughs> I'm looking at exclusive one-on-one -on -one webinar from Mike Somerville spelled right here. No, doesn't matter. Oh, just missing the L. <laughs> where? <laughs> oh, well. Maybe where I'm talking or something. I got this new thing. I, I We tried to do this the other night. And I'm on the www.go2webinar because it's the new account upgraded and all this crap. And as far as I'm concerned, they got so many issues. I've been fighting with them for the last month. It's been killing me. So you never know what's going on, what I can't see. <laughs> all right. So I don't know. I don't know how far into these slides I'm going to get. The consensus is you guys want to make money. You're coming online. There's a couple hundred people on here, and and uh, the consistency is pretty much all the same, and this is the exact same thing that I've been frustrated with between me and James and a couple other guys for the last two weeks, and it's been bothering the hell out of me. All these guys launching WSOs and, and ClickBank products, and they're moving to ClickSure, and if you're on this call and you're using a fake name and you're one of those guys, don't get offended because I will probably back you, <laughs> but the thing is, all these products are coming out, and they're all the same thing, and at the end of the day, you know, nobody's getting any results. It's, it, and the sad thing is, they're actually giving you the right information. 
Like there's a product today, and I actually mailed for it. I support Anthony Morrison 100%. That guy's legit. Um, but the problem is he's got all the right information in his course, but he's not packaging it right at the front end. And that's the whole thing. Because, uh, because we make money as educators in online marketing, uh, our time is super valuable. My time is super valuable because, I mean, I got so much stuff going offline. I, you, I had like three things on the go and then trying to get my head around this, you know, get my head around this webinar and, and stuff like that. And it just, you know, time is valuable. So you, if you buy a product for, you know, $37 or $47 or $57 or $97 or $197, most of that is going to be shrunken down information and then they want to get you the, on the upsell and stuff like that. And then when a product comes out that's legit for four ninety seven or nine ninety seven or you know one thousand nine hundred ninety seven dollars and up to you know ten twenty thirty thousand dollars I've paid to in courses, they're legit. But people get scared. They're like, oh, I can't afford that. And the sad part is, if you buy those kind of courses, most of the time, I'll say most of the time because I can't verify everybody's course because I only see a certain section of this market. Right? There's millions of people that call themselves internet marketers. Um, is legit. So, you know, trying to get my head around this webinar so how I can help you guys tonight, give you some information that you need and, and, and stuff like that. In our market, I'm going to be very honest with you, the internet marketing, the MMO, make money online is, they're becoming very, 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 um, I don't know how to explain it, but this business is becoming very hard to do because people are coming becoming so skeptical. So, you know, the people that are legit like me and, you know, our group, we come out with stuff and, you know, people are just like, whoa, you know, they, when if they do buy, they come in and they're like, whoa, this is amazing. But, you know, there's guys that they don't know because they've been tainted by everything else. And, and that's kind of that's kind of the consensus across the board with a lot of guys I've been talking to. And um, just got a text here. My support guy, my main man James, is in here. I got to make him organizer. Hold on. Let me see. We can do this. Make organizer. Nope. Make panelist. Why is it not? Hold on. Hold on one sec, guys. Sorry. Ah. Go to webinar. I love you. <laughs> Make panelist. Oh, there we go. 900 things popping up at the same time. Okay. Yes. Not that there's any support to do tonight, but we'll uh, we'll get you in there so you can see. All right. There's a question I just looked over real quick. How quick can you sit? How quick could you get up to around five thousand in Pinterest? Would you learn how? To... I mean, I mean, I'm doing some crazy numbers with Pinterest. I just use that money to reinvest into other stuff. Really, um, it just depends on what you want to do and how you're doing it. Um, but yeah, those numbers are. We'll we'll get into that. I'll, I'll try and cover some weird stuff here. Um, James, there I muted you. Says uh, another question: Would you suggest a newbie to get Anthony's course? Uh, there's nothing wrong with Anthony's course. Okay, I'm gonna be straight up. I support that dude 100%. I support his team. They're all awesome guys. Um, it's a cool course. If you want to buy it, buy it. <laughs> buy it with my link. <laughs> if you got an email from me, buy it with that link, <laughs> so I can make sixteen dollars on it. No, I'm just playing. Yeah, it's a cool course. I I, I went through the whole thing. Um, it's some good information in there, but if you only buy the first part of his course, it's going to be lacking a bit because you're not going to be able to put the dots together. Um, that's why there's upsells and stuff like that. Uh, but I went through his whole his, his course and it's pretty cool. They gave us access to it. So, but anyways, so let's 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 get into some of these slides. And I'm gonna I don't know where I'm gonna go with this. I, I'm weird, guys. If you're just getting to know me, like I said, we got people from all across the world. So I'm Canadian. So definitely going to be a little bit different of a person than Americans or, or UK people. Um, I'm part Scottish too, so that gives me, I'm just right screwed. <laughs> James is Scottish and Dutch, so he, he's screwed. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so we're just kind of different personalities. And um, we're going to go through this. I might switch this out halfway through it. I don't know. I, I really, 
I don't have anything really planned, but I do have a plan at the same time. I can't explain it, but <laughs> I just want to get you guys so you get to know me. So the whole thing, one of the main reasons for this webinar is you. some of these slides are going to look like you've seen them before because they're from another video, um, but this is a totally different purpose. Um, I want, I'm starting to try and get you guys to know me more so you can understand when you do get an email from me, I don't get an email back saying F all offer, this is BS or this is spammy. I get those every day. I got thousands of people on my list. That's fine. I reply to them actually. Most people don't. <laughs> uh, but I want you to know that when you do get an email from me, it's legit. I'll never stray uh, you in the wrong direction or send you to something that's totally going to rip you off. right? So that's kind of partially what this webinar is. And there's going to be another part of this webinar that that's really uh, something that I'm very serious about. So let, let's kind of get this. I want to tell you exactly who I am because a lot of guys, I did a video uh, last week. Uh, we had like 10,000 people hit that page. I think me and James were talking around 11,000 people hit that page. Uh, but just in case you didn't, partially those slides are in this one. We're going to tie it all together. It's going to make sense. Do not leave this webinar, okay? I'm going to tell you, do not leave this webinar because what's going to come at the end, once I tie this all together, is going to blow your mind and going to make you excited, okay? So just kind of work with me through this whole thing. Um, all right, so there's going to be questions and stuff like that. I, I always answer questions when they come in. So if, if I stop or stutter or something like that, I'm probably reading a question, getting ready to answer it. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. I started my first company when I was 16 years old. I got that import fever. Uh, you know, I, I'm 28 now, so that's, what, 12 years ago. Uh, when Fast and Furious first came out, I had a, uh, a neon, and I souped that thing up. I put about $60,000 in this neon. Uh, and while I was doing that, I had this bright idea. All these guys, I was going to shows, and they're all talking. You know, oh, I'm spending this much money, or this guy's sponsoring me, that guy's sponsoring me. And, and all I heard the whole time, they were saying, "This guy's sponsoring me. I'm getting discounts." There was cha-ching, 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 right? Because these guys are dumping tens of thousands of dollars into their car for no reason. Stuff blows up, they replace it, put tens of thousands more in their car. And I seen an opportunity there, and I started this company called Speed Zone Performance when I was actually probably. In between 15 and 16, I bought my car prior to getting my license, and we did it up. And uh, Speed Zone Performance actually was was legitimate company when I was that age. And I actually sold it to another guy down in that part of Ontario because he tied it into his, his van and truck uh, company. And um, we did pretty well in that. But the whole reason why I wanted that company was so I could get stuff cheaper. See, if you know me, if it, once you get to know me or if you do know me, I'm um, on a personal level. I hate paying full retail for anything. My whole family wears Tommy, Gucci, Puma, Adidas, all name brand stuff. I never pay full price. I probably don't even pay 80% price. I wait till stuff comes on sale or I get it from a supplier that'll give it to me at a super discount. Okay, so I'm one of these guys that that really uh, <laughs> look looks at every angle of a deal. Okay, so at any time I'm doing something, like a lot of guys, you know, they they see me driving my BMW, like, oh, that's an expensive car. I didn't pay full price for it. And, and my brother on the call here that's from Montreal, you'll understand that when you know the other side of the deal, you don't have to pay full price for anything, right? So that's it. Scotsman, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so that's what we do. So a lot of guys, they all get worked up. Oh, man, you must be making millions, blah, blah, blah. You're wearing this, you're wearing that. Yeah, we do make money, but we, we know how to, to work every angle, right? So that's not just the, the Internet part, but that's an entrepreneur, right? So that's who I am. And my kids, if you see my kids or you see pictures of them, they're always wearing, you know, Nike suits and, and Puma shoes and all that, but I don't pay full price. And if I do pay full price, you can bet your bottom dollar I was getting some free stuff thrown in. So that's just the kind of guy I am, and that's what we like to do. So uh, we did that. I actually quit college. I'm, I'm a certified uh, engineer. I went to school for, to be an engineer. I actually quit, didn't finish the third year to become civil. Uh, but I quit, and I started up, or I helped. I took over the, my family company that that time only had two people and within three months I think it was I'd have to check the books again but I think it was within three months we had had 42 guys working for us and that was me running uh, the company and I was actually doing some work too um, it's, it was a, an interior finishing company so drywall insulation steel stud painting you know sprayed ceilings all that stuff that's my family trade um, which is you know it's a pretty lucrative trade um, so I can drywall and hang, you know, drywall and do some crazy stuff with the best of them. Uh, but yeah, we did really good, and we were earning. We that business did well over seven figures a year, 
but if you know construction, what you bring in doesn't mean that's what you're going to make, right? So that's that's kind of what we did there. So I use the internet actually to protect that business. So like I said, when you understand internet marketing and understand funnels and fill in your pipeline, no matter what your product service or whatever is at the front end, it's going to work because your pipeline works, right? So and then you know we we're doing that, and then I got this bright idea one night. I was sitting uh, in my basement actually. Uh, at that time, we had a, had a condo and with one of my ex business partners, and we were actually trying to start up a UFC thing. You know, UFC was just getting big in this area back then. But we found out you couldn't do it because you had to, you couldn't have open, you had to have uh, closed gloves and all this stuff. There's too many rules. Um, now those rules are all gone. UFC is legal in Canada, but um, so we looked at that, and then I thought, well, you know, we can't do that, but I want to do something in this promoting business. You know, I have too many skills uh, in this business to to be able to not use them for something offline. Uh, so I, I made a couple phone calls, and then within a week, a, a bunch of people had contacted me, and uh, I got into the you know promoting hip hop concerts and club promoting and all of that, and actually got calls from uh, in Toronto. They have a pretty big company, Feldman Associates. They're like they you know Canadian booking agent for like tons of people. I started working with them. We went. I was at the Much Music Awards. I was at a bunch of stuff. Uh, took my wife to you know the Canadian Independent with the awards and all this stuff. We did a bunch of stuff within. A, I think it was a year and a half we, I was in that business, but it was all fueled by Facebook marketing. Everybody was trying to figure out, like, how are you packing out you know, all this stuff? How are you, you know, getting shows and getting connections left, right, and center when you haven't been in this business? You know, we've been in this business 40 years, blah, blah, blah. This is because I knew how to network through Facebook. And then LinkedIn came in and made my life a lot easier. Um, but that was definitely uh, a very... You know, very exciting time. I, I, you know, as only 28, I've done an insane amount of stuff, and I hope to do a ton more. Um, but that was all fueled by internet marketing. So, like I said, when you know what you're doing, no matter what you put in the front end, it'll work. So, you know, I just study trends and movements, stuff like that. I'm always, you know, watching what's going on, and one of the big things right now is mobile apps, and that's huge. Um, everybody's migrating over there, but I haven't. We haven't jumped in that market. Me and James were talking about that the other night. We haven't jumped in that market because if I do go to market with an app, it has to be something totally revolutionary that I have no competition. Why? Because I don't know the app market that much, um, and I don't want to really be in the app market. But I know I should be in the app market. So if I do go to market with an app, it has to be something so cool that I can sell it within the month because I just don't want to deal with it <laughs> type stuff. So that's kind of kind of cool. Um, and we adapt this stuff. Like I said, I started marketing Facebook 2006. The funny thing was I didn't know what Facebook was. I can't remember exactly when my wife joined. It must have been in between 05 and 06 when they opened up for colleges. Um, I was messing around on my computer, and I seen this thing for this Facebook. And uh, my wife had got invited through one of her friends, and I jumped on. There was a bunch of people talking to their ex-boyfriends and all kinds of crap. And I'm like, what is this? So we, me and my buddy started looking at it, and we figured out that there was a ton of people in one location, and how could we make money from that? So that's when we started marketing through groups. And if you know anything about Facebook back then, groups, you're allowed to message people. You could add people. You could have tons of admins. You could set up all kinds of weird stuff. There was no rules. We could spam and, and do whatever we wanted. And I made a ton of money during that era. Now we still do quite well. We still do funneling and stuff like that. But you got to, you know, there's some rules and regulations, and they're changing it day by day. So you have to really be following a really good Facebook expert. And I mean, following a really good Facebook expert, not buying every Facebook WSO out there, every Facebook product, because most of that stuff is no good. Um, so you have to really know somebody that knows what they're doing on Facebook because they have to be able to tell you how to change fast and how to get the right. Algorithm, the right edge rank, stuff like that, and that's kind of what we do. So I've been very successful with that. Um, I don't know if you guys know the story that when I first got into the make money online business, my first ever product was CashMonkey.com. You can Google it, CashMonkey, all one word, uh, and the monkey spelt with a U. Um, it was a wildly successful product. Uh, prior to that, I had seriously failed massively. I, I spent thousands upon thousands of dollars and never made a dollar. Um, but that when we launched Cash Monkey, I didn't know anything about um, really building lists um, and kind of this list marketing and JVs and JV notifying ClickBank and all that. And when I when we launched that, I looked at ClickBank, and it was when ClickBank was blue and white. So if anybody knows ClickBank, that's years and years and years ago. Um, and we kind of just went about it on PayPal. Did really well. I used eBay and PayPal. 
to sell that product, and we did really well. If you Google it, you'll you'll see that. So we've done a few things, um, and then we started getting into it. We started figuring out. People started calling us. You know, I've been teaching at Chamber of Commerce, all kinds of weird and wild stuff. Uh, but why has all this happened to me? There's there's one there's only one thing about you. Well, basically, like I said, I'm going to go off these slides, the prior slides. Um, but I'm basically not a computer right now. I'm kind of looking at these these uh, these. these one second, I'm just gonna get up with the questions here. Make sure there's people saying, "What's this webinar?" About? I don't know if you're at the beginning. Uh, watch and you'll learn something. That's what it's about. <laughs> um, I'm with you, how you buy things, maybe. Should, yeah. Contact connections. Yeah, yeah. Trying to see what's going on here. Questions, questions, questions. My audio sketchy. I ain't even doing nothing. This my audio should be on point. If it's off, then we got serious issues. It should not be cutting out. I'm not doing anything. There's nothing loaded on this computer right now. As we hold on one sec, guys. I, the red screen just popped up for me, so it says. I ain't doing nothing, so I don't know. This is go to webinars successful BS again. Um, I have a problem with hooking up with the same people as you, which means there is so much money to be made out there. We need a team to bounce things back and forth like TV shows. House there's four six people kind of so yeah, yeah. That's the whole thing. You got to get it, and that's kind of what this is all about. But you got to kind of be around people that know what they're talking about and, and can kind of you know get get in one accord, get on track. So. Through all this you know, trial and error and all this stuff, I've been able to put myself in this kind of super intersection. I actually get customers on demand and, and do kind of weird stuff with these tactics that I do, and I do stuff each. Day. Um, I'll show you guys one campaign live on here. If we're having audio issues, I'll have to go slow. I launched last night, and uh, is the audio still? Up? It's reading perfectly on my side. What's going? Is it okay on your guys' side? I don't know. It's not making any sense to me. It's got to be go to webinar because my, there's nothing running on my computer. I'm running 2% CPU right now, so there it's got to be go to webinar something. I was on a call the other night with guys that I know have a really fast connection. They're on Max and their and their go to webinar was cutting out, and that was uh, they were pitching a twenty-seven thousand dollar product. So <laughs> I don't know how well it converted, um, but but yeah. Oh, we'll just go. Sketch is Just bear with me, guys. This is the, it's going to be a really good webinar. So whatever's going on with this, don't let it get you sidetracked. Don't freak out. Um, just kind of bear with me. This is typically what happens when when good information comes out. There's always opposition, <laughs> as my dad would say. He's a preacher. <laughs> so, so anyway, so we're doing some cool stuff. Uh, you know, we're doing phones, educating stuff. Uh, you know. Uh, Circles, I can learn more um, from you guys, and uh, and try and get stuff rolling. All right, so here here's the campaign. I use this example quite a bit because I'm very very uh, proud of this campaign because it ended up doing 2,500 bucks a day for us. When we tested it, it did 300 dollars or 227 dollars in profit. You know what? I just realized something. You guys haven't seen my screen this entire time. James, where were you on that one, brother? <laughs> I'm talking about slides, and then we ain't even got no slides. <laughs> <You> got... <laughs> oh, heavenly. <laughs> That's hilarious. Good thing I opened up that screen. <laughs> you guys are just staring at my ugly mug the whole time for about the last 20 minutes. <laughs> there you go. That's how you know this is live. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! 
Hey, <laughs> Troy says, tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, right, buddy. You were, you were probably watching something. <laughs> There's not going to be a replay, guys. So if you leave now, uh, I apologize. The, there's not going to be a replay on this. There's a reason at the end why we're not doing a replay. So um, if the audio is cutting out, just bear with us. It's whatever's whatever. It's not my fault. It's something to do with the connections. I don't know. But anyway, so if we look at this slide here, um, I ran this, this Facebook campaign. It's a CPA, CPA offer. And it paid us a dollar thirty-five. Right now, I, I checked it this morning. They're paying eighty-seven cents for this. Um, but that campaign yielded us up. To, we were spending about five hundred bucks, and we were getting four to one on our money. Actually, almost almost five to one on our money. We were, we were making twenty-five hundred bucks a day. Um, can we do that still on this current uh, Facebook phenomenon? Um, yes, probably we can. Will I pay six or seven cents a click? Probably I'll have to spend a little bit of money to get that up again, um, because you know Facebook wants to have you click through. There's a whole bunch of things that have to be it working together to, to be cheap. Um, but yeah, no, that campaign could definitely be profitable in this this Facebook marketing thing. But all that was was this strictly was a Facebook ad to a, a Facebook app, and on conversion, if they clicked allow. We got paid a buck thirty-five. So out of three hundred, we had one hundred and eighty-nine conversions. Um, it says four hundred seventy-two clicks, but Facebook sometimes double clicks or double charges. I don't know. Sometimes the clicks don't add up. Um, and then we did another uh, Facebook campaign that yielded us those numbers there. Testing stuff. That was those are super low numbers, but that was like random stuff that we were doing. Um, so we kind of did okay there. Uh, uh, we got here. All right, so this slide here is this is taken from March 1st to April 28th. Um, but the funny thing is that site was only launched, I think, the 28th of March or 29th, around there. Um, but you can see we 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 did some some traffic stuff. This was actually free, um, and. Uh, Got some spikes. Now that spike equated to sixty-three hundred dollars in profit. Okay, from a webinar and like a, 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 an hour's worth of work for me, basically. Uh, mind you, the course I put together the course and all that, but that was what that was. Okay, it's gone on to make a lot more money than that now, and actually this week will probably do pretty well too. Um, but just shows you how. A spike in traffic, if you know what you're doing, can convert to dollars. Okay, uh, um, this is another one I could show you where I turned the campaign off. So you can see we turned the campaign on. This is what website is this for? Um, oh, okay, yeah, this is an, uh, an affiliate blog. Okay, so I put the blog up the beginning of March, and you can see I turned on the campaign. In this case, it was free traffic again. And then I turned the campaign off, and that's why it dropped, right? So we we hit just under twenty thousand uniques on that page. Um, so we were getting AdSense revenue, and we were getting affiliate commissions up until when I turned that off. Why I turned it off? The product got pulled from ClickBank. Um, so that's one of the reasons why we turned it off. But it was doing really well. Um, so that's kind of stuff we do. Here's a couple. I don't like to show a lot of stuff I, I, because of FTC. I can only show you stuff that I know um, you can achieve uh, by me talking and stuff like that. Um, so that's why, if you're wondering why my AWeber accounts don't say 42,000 or whatever, I do have an AWeber account with 46,000 in it right now. Um, I have a bunch of other AWeber's accounts, and then I have my personal mailers. Then we just got a new mailing program, and I've been using Mailchimp lately. So we're across the board, uh, covering all aspects of this. So if you look at my personal mailer, I have just under 200,000 in that one. And uh, my AWeber, I have 2,300 affiliates in one, another one, 6,400 students in another one, um, and then we have our mailing list that we just uh, mail to try and get people to come into our courses and stuff like that. But these are pretty generic stuff. Those guys are building 100K lists and all that stuff. I do that all the time, uh, but I, I screen my list. So if you don't open an email for 45 days, I delete you. If you open an email, don't click an email, I delete you. Um, um, we pay for our list, so if you're not active on my stuff, what's the point in me trying to communicate with you, right? So 
it's just like a, a sales call or you know if you're working offline trying to sell something um, if the guy never picks up the phone or communicates with you on the other end you get rid of that lead because you know he's dead um, just one sec here guys phone's going crazy okay and here's another one these are all uh, straight SEO blogs uh, the iWebinar ones obviously doesn't track right at all because it's not set up to track. I don't know why it's even on there. <laughs> but the rest of those are all free blogs um, that we're generating traffic for. And uh, Vicealis is obviously for a Vicealis MLM. So uh, becoming successful online is nothing more than replicating actionable steps. So all day long, me and James or whoever I'm partnered with at that time, we just replicate what we we know to do. And if for some reason it doesn't work, we beat our head against the wall, we go for a drive. I tend to go to the casino for a few hours um, <laughs> um, and just kind of freak out and then come back and, and test things. That's what the whole thing is. I saw your initial slide. Oh. Um, so it's kind of one of those, you know, things where you, as long as you're replicating stuff, it's definitely it should have the same result. I'm going to show you guys something live. I'm, I'm, the reason why I'm saying right now is I'm trying to figure out where I'm going with this prior to the next section of this slide because I want this to all tie in and not lose you guys because I know if you're new to this, you're going to be lost. If you're not new to this, you're going to be drooling in two seconds. Um, but here, it's going to prop the, the God is probably goes, so I will talk as much until I load it up. So I'm going to show you guys something real quick. I'm going to load up all these pages and then I'm going to talk. Oh yeah, lost audio for sure. <laughs> all right, now let's wait for all this to load, and then I'll then I'll, I'll talk. All okay. Let's see if we uh, can. Everybody hear me now. I got the green and orange and red here, so it's, I know what's coming through. We just want to make sure. Yep, okay. So here, I'm going to show you a result. This is a testing ClickBank account I have. If you're wondering why, like, it's periodic stuff, it's because of uh, emails going out, follow-up campaigns, and, uh, and then testing stuff. So today, I had no emails go out with this link in it, with this affiliate link, okay? We did $118. Now, if I was working a, a job, that means I would have worked... Uh, 10 hours for whatever, 10 bucks or whatever, minimum wage, whatever that is. But I didn't. I've been home all day, went to Tim Hortons, uh, played with my kids, stuff like that. So in this account, I made a decent wage, right? Uh, <laughs> you mean cash can <laughs> Cash monkey. <laughs> that's funny. Um, <laughs> that's really good. Anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> Why does everybody hate friggin' Canadians? I'm telling you. No, I'm just playing. Anyway, so I'm going to show you guys how I got this result. Okay, so that $118 was actually spent with $16. Okay, so what I did was, and this is going to, some of you guys are going to be like, what the hell, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of guys out there that are against AdFly. Okay, I am a firm believer in AdFly. I've built almost a 4,200 list in the last 24 hours on AdFly. Um, and they're converting, okay? A lot of guys say, oh, I can get the list, but I can't convert them. Now I ran another campaign overnight, and it didn't convert. I don't know why. I have to test it again, so I won't show you that campaign because it's not working yet. <laughs> um, but I'm going to show you what we did. So what we did is we set up a campaign with AdFly. Uh, where is it here? So right here, version Canada success, okay? So 
it's not even completed yet. It hasn't even completed yet. We ordered. Uh, I keep changing the CPMs, right? So there's a certain number you pay, you buy it at, and then you can change it as you go. Uh, because if I end up being in second place or third place, I want to get all the traffic. I want to get the good traffic. So we we I have I constantly tweak it. This is another thing guys don't teach you. There's a there's actually a, a full ClickBank product that how to do this. And the guy doesn't teach you how to do it. It blows my mind. But anyways, um, so we've so far got about 9,400 hits and uh, 12, just under 12,000 been delivered. Okay, so I'm going to tweak that probably after this call, get that campaign finished, and um, this one's still pending. Oh, okay, that one hasn't launched yet. So you can see here, I'm going to launch one for Anthony's product. I'm going to spend 15 bucks. I can't give you results on that one yet because it's still pending and it hasn't gone live yet. Uh, so what we did is, so far I've spent about sixteen dollars about there, and added the twenty-five dollars. And what I, I did is I generated this list here. Okay, so we generated two hundred and seventy-seven signups. Okay, now you probably say, oh, you know, you spent, you know, I could probably generate a bigger list for that. Cool, that's cool. You're probably better at it than me. I don't know, <laughs> but that's pretty good for that list right so we generated 277 people okay that's actually let me bring up I don't even think that's a that wasn't a really good let's see if we can get it here conversion rate uh, right here yeah so I reset these stats actually earlier today uh, because I now have different traffic going to it so we've had just um, just over 20,000 uniques. I'm getting just under a 1% conversion. Okay, now why are you you're going to say, Mike, that's against everything you teach us. Mike, that's against everything everybody else teaches us. You know, they say you should convert at 30% or 40% or 60% or 100%. Okay, that's cool. Warm traffic, yes, should convert on a squeeze page at a high number. This call tonight that you're on right now with that go to webinar squeeze page converted at 49%, 48.8%, okay? Now, cold traffic from every country in the world that is not in internet marketing and I'm putting them in an internet marketing funnel, I believe that to be a successful campaign, okay? A lot of high-end marketers will tell you it is, but they will not tell you to your face it is, but that's a really good campaign as far as I'm concerned. So we're getting a good conversion rate of that, okay? So now what happens? Well, Mike sent an email out in that funnel. We have follow-up right here. Okay, so we have right there, boom. As soon as they opt in, they get one, right? Next day, they get another one, right? Jobs available in your country. <laughs> um, and that's what resulted in this right here. That one. Let's refresh it. Maybe by fluke, we made a little bit more money. Nope. <laughs> ah, you never know what the hell's going on. But anyway, so that's what resulted in that. Okay. So I think for the investment, that's pretty good money return on investment, right? And that's just one account. Like I got a bunch of other accounts, right? So is that is anybody does anybody see value in that? My phone's going crazy right now. Um sorry, my phone's going crazy I'm trying to get it to Vibrate. Anyway, so you see value in how that works. You see how if you build a list, if you get, I'll even show you the squeeze page they went to. This is gonna shock the crap out of you. This is the squeeze page that I squeezed them on. Right there. That's it. That's all. That's the squeeze page that I squeezed them on, and I got them into that funnel. Okay. So if you're fast, you could screenshot that and then try it out. <laughs> um, so anyway, so but the key is you have to know how to, to to run the traffic on AdFly, okay? And you have to know this is this is the squeeze page that I converted. I had another one that had different wording, um, but we ran this one and it converted with all those, okay? So there's definitely different testing we have to do. Do I have a grade school version of this? What what do you mean by that? Like dumbified information? Oh, okay, you lost. Okay, let, I'll I'll uh I'll go back a little bit. 
So the whole thing is, in I'm an internet marketer, and there's different type of internet marketers, mostly an affiliate marketer. So I make money from sending emails out. How? By getting people on a webinar like this or other webinars we do, sending them products, or just building email lists and having follow-ups go out uh, for products. Okay, so there's a ton of different ways to do this, but the whole thing is you want to get people at the front line of a funnel, get them in the funnel, and then pipe fill the pipeline, and then you have little holes in that pipeline that you're trying to get those people out of that pipeline to buy, to buy something. And then if they don't, you spit them out at something crazy at the end of the pipeline. And if they still don't buy or don't respond to your emails, you delete them. Okay, so we're constantly filling the pipeline. Same thing as the guy that was from Montreal that's a car dealer. He knows if there's somebody on the lot, he has to get out there and you know introduce him. Say, hi, I'm Mike Somerville. Uh, you know, anything I could help you with? Just wanted to tell you about this amazing new. You know, Ford Flex we got, you know, do the six-point walk around. He's got to spend a shitload of time with them. Sorry for swearing. But he's got to spend a ton of time with them. I don't spend time with my customers, okay? My customers spend time with my funnels, right? So I'm marketing. I literally don't even know who bought that, who's paid me $200 today. But that's commission. So that's probably like $600 in sales, but I got paid 118 Okay, it's probably some reoccurring in there too. Um so that's how we're running that. It's super easy. We can break it down more, um, but I'll lose everybody on the call because if I break it down too much, that doesn't make sense. But all we're doing is filling funnels and trying to get people to buy stuff at the end of it. So no matter what kind of product you have, website you have, whatever you have, you would run this same funnel for whatever. doesn't matter if you're in the car business, real estate, mortgages, uh, ice cream parlor. You're going to do the same thing. Your squeeze page won't look like this. It'll be catered to your niche, but this is what works in my niche. It's that that with them, right? <coughs> What's in it for me? So they you want to you want to get them to say, you know, what does it say? How to create a hot selling cash generating product machine that caters to lucrative. Op like there's some huge words in that. If I landed on that, I wouldn't opt in. But somebody that's looking to make money who's in a situation will opt into that, right? So <laughs> Troy says, nope. <laughs> but that bad boy converts like crazy. That's one of my highest converting pages of all time. So there's different stuff. I have another page that converts like crazy. and, and squeeze. So all we're trying to do is get information so we can follow up with the people. And then we get sales. Okay, I'm going to show you another. I've never showed anybody this, I don't think. Okay, this same funnel in this account has generated me. It's going to say from 2008, but we're going to. I'm going to bring. I just James will know I'm not lying. This literally, I just started doing this after Christmas. Okay, well, actually the week of Christmas. So we'll go December 2011. Okay, till now, just to show you, I'm not making up or. Messing around. Okay, so it updated. Is it done? I'll wait till it's done, just so you know. I'm not lying. Wah, wah, wah. All right. Okay, so as you can see down the bottom, if you guys can see that, let me grab my handy dandy pen. My highlighter. It's going to be pink. We don't want pink. We want red. So if you look at this number here, 11,000. Oh, frick, I need to get one of those Ken pen pads. Okay, this is actually pretty low too. But we're just doing some testing, and this is what we generated. Okay, so I think uh, so. Ignore this one. Okay, so these ones here, I've never revealed this to anybody, so I don't even think James has seen this. <laughs> Uh, error. Oh, lovely. Gotta love freaking uh, Warrior Plus. Okay. So if you look at that, I generate just under 12 grand from launching uh, a product or two and literally had like no sales whatsoever. Okay. But that generated all kinds of other stuff for us. So that is pretty good, right? So. So far, what, what month are we? January, February, March, April, May. The fifth month, okay? 
So I generated from that account what most people generate pretty much a half a year. I know my brother is a, 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 a what do they call it, associate manager, I don't know, assistant manager at United Furniture, and the dude's pulling in a salary. Okay, this is a salary. I don't know what's going on here. My mic's cutting out probably. Catch up, catch up, catch up. You guys with me? Okay. So my brother's pulling in a salary of eighteen thousand dollars. Okay, that's what his salary is. Ah, oh, fuck! What the hell? Is it? Sorry, I don't mean to swear. <laughs> Are you sure? You yeah. Whatever. All right. I don't know what's going on right now, but we just got the green screen of death right there. <laughs> I didn't mean to swear there. I apologize if I offended you. <laughs> um, but anyways, so he's pulling out 18 grand. So I've made, just in these two accounts I've shown you, way more than him that he's going to make all year long. Okay, I've shown you two accounts. I have other accounts that are a ridiculous amount of money. I spend a ridiculous amount of money also online too. So, uh, But... This is just kind of proof, and I could show you accounts that have like these other guys, you know, twenty-seven thousand here, thirty-seven thousand there. I could show you, but I don't want to. Why? A, because FTC will kill me because it's not realistic for you to make that kind of money uh, right away, um, unless you're like with me and I'm teaching you. Um, and, and B, I don't like to show those accounts. Why? Because I don't want you to copy me in those accounts. <laughs> as simple as that. But anyway, so we did there. Now, if we go to that's just strictly that account. So if I go over to um, the affiliate side of this where we mailed if it rolls okay this is not going to be a lot of money at all um, if we go all time I think it is I don't mail very much for anything on there okay so here um, that doesn't make any sense that should be three times that. Oh, I don't know, something screwed up here. Anyways, so it says, I'll go with the number that's on here. Do There is refunds and stuff like that that come out of this. Um, I don't know why. I know for a fact I've made more money than that. But anyway, so it says uh, 5,100. My penmanship, yeah, with my mouse. Uh, $5,133.84, okay? from just affiliate commissions on the warrior forum stuff okay um, it is a lot more than that I don't know why it's showing that's weird um, but anyway so that's just mailing for products so in those two accounts so far this year we have 1700 right so I'm already sitting home on my butt making more money in these accounts than my brother okay I can show you other accounts. Like I said, I had that, that spike this month that did 6,300. I have another spike that did another quite a bit of money. Okay, so I'm already, just by the proof I'm showing you, making more money than my brother, who's an associate, associate, assistant manager at United Furniture, okay, busts his butt all day long to make a sale. Now, in the car business, um, you know, you can make big dollars, but you got to, you know, do a lot of work. The reason why I'm saying that is because, you know, our, my brother from another mother's on here from Montreal. And, uh, you know, so I'm trying to associate this. There wasn't a lot of other specific stuff. So can you guys see that you can make money? It makes sense to you now, me showing you this stuff live, that, yes, Mike, I can make money online fairly easily. And probably seems like it's not easily, but it is fairly easily. You're still with me? Yes? No? Maybe so. Nobody's leaving the webinar yet, so you got to be there on the one side. Hit me up. Say, yes, Mike. I'm with you. I'm excited. I want to make 10 grand just like you next month. I'm all about it. I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Get fired up, boys. Come on. Get, <laughs> do something. I don't, I don't know what you're doing if you're sitting on your couch with your laptop in your lap or in your basement. Do <laughs> This is... Uh, I'm totally different than anybody else. There's no no form. I'm not Russell Brunson. I'm not Mike Dillard. I'm not Mike Phil Singh. I'm a different type of guy. And once you get me, you'll you'll get it. Um, but yeah, no, get get fired up, man. I'm showing you real proof 
that I'm making a decent living with what I'm showing you online, right? And that's that's just a percentage of what we make. So that's pretty cool, right? It's pretty cool. And most of that's generated, uh, well, right now, most of my income, about 25% is generated with free traffic. The other 75% I'm obviously paying for. Um, but I'm not paying a lot for it. That's the key. So what do we have to do? Well, I'm going to tell you what you got to do. <laughs> Listen, uh, there's a few more slides that I'm going to get to. Actually, what I just showed you, I wasn't even going to do. So we're already uh, we're already off track here. So let's see where we're at. Um, I want to ask you a question. I'm just trying to see what slides I got here. Uh, okay, this is <laughs> I'm getting you fired up. All right, so let me ask you right now. No, I don't care what business you're in. I don't care what you've done for the last 40, 50, 60 years of your life. Do you think the only thing holding you back? All right, here, I'm going to ask you a personal question before we follow up with this, okay? And you don't have to answer this. Nobody else is going to see it. I won't repeat any names, but I want you to type in the chat right now, okay? I've shown you what I'm making. I make mid-range, you know, six figures a year right now. Um, I'm, I'm trying to boost that in the next month <laughs> uh, with some stuff we're doing. Um, so if I tell you that that's what I make, let me ask you, what do you guys make? I know Troy's he making millions of dollars every year right now. I know he is. <laughs> okay, so we got somebody, you know, they're they're getting close to six. Just to hit, him, hit me with the number that you're making. Why do I want to do this? It's very key because this is a whole... This is a whole pattern because I want you to, to sit there and I want you to say, look, I'm making this number, but Mike Mike's telling me I can make that number. That's what I want. If, if It's kind of an exercise, so follow with me here. I could get you to say it out loud at your house, but I can't see it, right? So it doesn't matter. A nickel or two, James says, <laughs> or Troy says. Five figures. Oh, man, he's working hard, too, for that, too. Zero. Sean. We need to get that to get uh, get you fixed up there. All right, come on. There's like a couple hundred people on here. I want to see this chat fill up. I don't care if you're shy. I'm sitting here in my office at my house. Nobody's going to see it. There's a reason why I'm doing all this, okay? It's called the law of, well, if you watch The Secret, I don't know how much of it you believe. I believe certain parts of it of a very uh, Pentecostal background. So I do believe that, you know, but faith without works is nothing, right? So I want you to have faith right now. Put that number out there, right? If you were at, if you were in church, I don't know how many faith people there is on this call. If you were in church and you're having a bill burning seminar or something, they're doing something. You know, God's going to bless you with a million dollars this year. I want you to yell out right now what you're making. You would do it. Now do it. I only got ten people telling me. I want the rest of you guys to do it right now. Tell me, hit it in there what you're making. I don't care. Make it up. Do something. <laughs> okay. So that's it. Euros. So what is that? What is euros? Is that like 2.5 to our dollar around there? Dollar thirty-seven. All right. So yeah, the Canadian dollar is pretty strong right now. It's killing me. Not enough. Yeah. So at the end of the day, what I'm seeing right now is out of these people that are on this call, everybody's either mid-range five figures borderline six, um, pushing it around, but you're probably working pretty hard for that kind of money, and, it's, and then it drops off to like nothing, okay? So that's kind of what, the reason why I want to do, the reason why I wanted to do that was the Korean. I don't know, man, one of my, one of my, one of these older guys I hang around, he trades yen and, and, and all that stuff like mat, so I, I have no idea what the exchange rate is on any of that stuff. But anyways, I know you can make money trading it right now for Canadian. Um, but the reason why I want to do this is because not only is it like a step of faith right now, you, you know, you're, you're saying, okay, I'm making 50 grand. I want you to realize what you're making, right? I want you to realize that that's unacceptable, all right? That number is unacceptable right now, okay? In this day and age, unless you're making a quarter of a million dollars, you're not living. And you may think, oh, you know, I got a good life. But here's the deal. Do you have a retirement plan? Right? Do you have money in the bank that should something happen, God forbid, that you're okay, right? Right now, my whole business is set up. It could run without me, 
but it's set up in a point where it's going to drop off because my wife doesn't know what I do, right? So we, we're setting up our business so that it's very evergreen and anybody can walk in here and take it over. Because <laughs> I just realized six months ago that if there was something to happen to me, my family uh, would be okay for a bit, but then they're screwed, right? So that that's why I want you to get that out there. And and this, the sad part is you're not alone, right? There's a lot of people online right now that are claiming riches, they're claiming big lists, they're claiming this, they're claiming that. They got nothing. They got they my God, they, they probably don't even got two cents to rub together. But I mean, and there's nothing wrong with that because the industry is up and down, right? I have up and down months all the time. I'm in a down month right now, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Why I mean it's not I mean what was down to me is probably way up to you guys, but um, you know the business it, it's a business right but if you know what you're doing you have replicable applications stuff like that success it has to be there right I'm a product launcher so in my product and when I launch products and stuff like that uh, we had to have funnels drawn out so it could be months when we're not making money so we had to make tons of money throughout that and I do different little things right CPA campaigns and my offline businesses and stuff like that but there's seriously, you need to, to be able to, to use one simple system and plug it into anything and everything and be able to make that money. So that's that's kind of where it's at. And and I mean I know I had to pry that out of you guys. I still didn't get still didn't get it from everybody. But that's the kind of person I am. I, I, I want you to be honest with yourself and I want you to understand that that's an unacceptable number, right? There's people in my network marketing team, okay, that are dying to make money, right? And I keep telling them, look, you got to do this, 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 and this. Do it, right? Do it. Just do that, and you'll make ten grand a month. And they don't do it, right? They're like, oh, you know, that guy's, you know, I'm, one of the one of the ones we're in right now. I'm joining a couple more this week, actually. Uh, but one of the ones we're in right now is by Salas. And everybody's like, oh, you know, I wish I could, you know, get the BMW. Oh, you know, I wish I could get this. I wish I could get that. Okay, so you, you you talk to them. What did you do today? Did you call anybody? Well, no. What did you send an email out? No, no. Did you try and buy any traffic? Well, no. Did you you know drop your card or fly in or fly or anywhere? Well, no. So, how the hell is anybody going to sign up if you ain't talked to anybody? If you don't have anybody in your pipeline, if you're not filling it up, how are you going to do it? Right? I build one list. I'll market anything to that list all day long. But I'm building a list, right? Because I got my pipeline full, right? Uh, I'm building it up. So, uh, I don't know if there's some network marketers on here, but that's the key to all that. You you got to be building that pipeline, and if you're not building that pipeline, not educating yourself consistently, you're screwed. It's the long and the short of it. Yeah, there's guys, you know, they're making tons of money walking across the stage, which is no rhyme doesn't do anything for me, right? I could care less. I could sit in the back corner and you know, and still make tons of money. Walking across stages doesn't mean anything to me. I've walked across Coliseum stages. And everybody was there to see me, <laughs> so I don't care about walking across stages at you know rah rah zip boom bah events. But you know, you got you have to be doing stuff. If you're in network marketing, you got to talk to ten people a day. You'll close three, right? If you can't close those three, get somebody on the phone that can close them for you. You know, if you're in you know uh, internet marketing, you got to funnel people in by the hundreds. If you funnel three, four, five, six hundred people in a day, you'll get ten to a hundred sales. You know what I mean? So that's the whole thing. Fill the pipeline. Fill the pipeline. So the only thing holding you back, and you've realized that now, is seriously understanding. And I know it is. That's the only reason why you're not making six, seven, eight figures a month. That's simple, or a year, or whatever. A day could be whatever your goal is, right? It's understanding. You don't understand how to do it, or you're not getting the proper direction, which is a huge lacking in this business right now. Everybody, you know, what have you done for me lately? All this crap. It drives me up the wall, and I just want to get on planes and punch people in the faces. But uh, <laughs> sorry, that's a little bit too personal. But that's where it is. So we already typed in our answers. Um, yeah. So there's only really right now there's only five percent of people online that are actually successful. Okay, and and that's the honest to God's truth. That's not a fictional number. Ninety five percent of people that come online fail one hundred percent of the time. So that's truth. Um, now what if you could partner with me? So I'm giving you quite a bit of education here tonight, uh, right now, and there's actually no format. To this call, so everything I'm talking about right now is totally made up as we're talking. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good, I think. But anyway, so let me explain how I mean this. You can partner with me, okay? So last week I launched a coaching program. This is not that program. So if you think it is a program, you watch that webinar. It's not that program, okay? So stay on the call, stay to the end. We're we're I don't know what time we're at right now. 
an hour and 10 minutes. That doesn't matter. Um, so I've made a decision to download my information. I did take these slides from that thing, but I'm going to bring it all back home. Okay. Uh, so I want to help. I want to help people. All right. That's that's what I'm looking to do. I want to seriously help people because I constantly, even last night, I had four or five people on Facebook hit me up on Skype. People texting me. I get freaking people texting me. I don't even know how they get my number. <laughs> I, it blows my mind. I don't know where they get my number. Anyway, they text me, Mike. Can you help me with this? You know what? My time is worth something, you know. I'm constantly doing stuff. I'm either doing doing this, doing that, and when I'm not working, um, which is probably not that many hours of the day that I'm not working because I'm either doing something that you know to to better myself. Um, but work to me is like, yeah, gambling and <laughs> Detroit types gambling, um, <clears throat> being on my phone, stuff like that. So like, work is not like physical labor. I mean, if I sprain my 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 uh, my index finger, I'm screwed. But <laughs> that's kind of you know. So work it, it work to me is like being online, talking to people, communicating, networking, stuff like that. It's very simple work. Well, that's what I do. So, but you know, like a lot of people are busting their butt, and I see this every day. And I see people so pissed. I go to Tim Hortons, and, and you know, I'm in the lineup, and you know, can I take your? Yeah, can I get a large triple triple? And they can't handle that. I'm saying, can I get a? Huh? Pardon me. Like they're so stressed out to make eight bucks an hour, it's unreal. And I go, you know, eleven, twelve, you know, one o'clock in the morning. You know, I'm up all hours of the night, and I'll go there at one o'clock in the morning. There's this guy; he's 25 years old. And this guy has the burning desire to make money. This guy is like so entrepreneurial. It's not even funny. He's like, um, you know, he's in a situation. I think financially, um, and every time I try to talk to him about things, you know, I want to help you, stuff like that. I just, I don't know why this guy kind of just. I don't know. I kind of clicked with him, so I go and buy a coffee at the same time every night, and I make sure that you know I know he's there and, and talk to him and stuff like that. But he's very entrepreneur, uh, but he's never really had a chance to be entrepreneurial. But just by talking to him, I know this this guy, if he had the right direction, would be successful. And uh, you know, and there's just a ton of people out there that would be super good at stuff. They just can't get the right direction. They can't be pointed in the right direction. They don't have the right education because the guy that they're trying to learn from, their mentor, their coach, their mastermind. Is just there to make money off them, and that's what a lot of these things are nowadays. I'll come out and admit it. A lot of these masterminds that are launching this month and last month, and they're all crap. It's just I, I don't want to get into it too much, but you ain't gonna get too educational out of it. You might get some contacts in a Rolodex, but there's not too much you're gonna get from it. But I want to create an extremely unique opportunity, okay? Where it's basically like we're business partners type thing, okay? So I, we thought about this. I was bouncing this off, James. We launched that product last week. We sold it out right away, and you know, and I still had you know other people coming in and asking me about it, and they want to come in, but they can't afford that kind of stuff or whatever. And uh, you know, so I wanted. I'm like, you know what? I need to to allow people to come in and be able to to make money, right? Because I know you guys like you're making seventy seven thousand or fifty thousand. Want to make ninety nine thousand? You guys have what it takes. You just don't have. The puzzle pieces together, right? Like the pieces are all laying there in front of you. You're just missing that. How do I put it together? Type stuff. My buddy from I call him my buddy. I've never met you in my life, but my buddy from Montreal. There's a car dealer, right? He might have the burning desire to be car salesman of the month. He probably doesn't because that entails a lot of work and a lot of follow up and CSI and all that stuff. Um, but you know, if he can sell. 10 more cars this month, it might make him financially free that he can take next month off, right? So he needs to know how to do that. And I'm going to tell you, your dealer principal doesn't know how to do it. He knows how to spend a shitload more money to try and do it and put a lot of lost leaders out there. But they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to do it. I, I mean, I teach this to people. Grant Cardone teaches this to people. And they just don't know how to do it. And when you come along with something new, well, they don't want to listen because they'd rather buy a $1,000 you know, newspaper ad that nobody gives a crap about and doesn't read then spend fifteen dollars online and generate like a thousand leads. I, I don't get it. Doesn't make sense to me. Uh, but that's just the kind of way it is. So I want to put together this program where we're like all on a coach, a coaching thing. Like, and we talk to each other just like we're talking now. But you can talk back, and and we can do stuff together. And I can show you how I'm doing my campaigns and give them to you, upload them to you, and help you with with stuff like that. And and basically, be your bitch type thing. <laughs> I want to give you what I'm doing. So that's kind of what I'm at, because if it's working for me, it must have to work for you. That's the only way. It has to, right? 
most of my programs that people come in, it works for them because they're copying and they take action, right? So we want to do this coaching thing where you get my, my text, my cell phone number. I can't answer the phone like this. People would just be calling me consistently. Um, but it will be my real number. Um, tools, resource, all kinds of stuff. Like we want to, we want to be able to help you out um, to what you need, right? Because I do a ton of stuff that I can't teach everybody. I can't launch products on it because it just doesn't fit in the in the market, right? But I do a ton of stuff behind the scenes that people don't get, and that's the kind of stuff you need to know about, right? So like list building stuff like that. Like I showed you tonight, I'm building lists from from AdFly right now. That's like basically nobody's doing it because they all like, oh, it doesn't work. I just proved it works, right? If you're still with me, did I prove to you that AdFly works to build lists and to monetize them? Yep, 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 exactly, right? So that's the kind of stuff that I do. Now there's other stuff that I do that's free that does the same thing. Did not show how though. Well, I kind of did if you were quick. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's pretty cool the stuff that you could do. So, and we do have funnels that that I'm just looking at the slide here real quick. Um, we do have funnels that get 40 to 60 percent opt-ins, um, and they just have follow-up campaigns that just we make money from. That's how we do it, right? I do blast people. I do do that. I will admit that um, because I have to get a product in or get something else in there to compensate. So we do that stuff, and people get offended on the list. But I don't, you know, I care to the point where like I don't want to piss people off but at the same time just unsubscribe right so you gotta kinda of be at that point where and I know me and James struggle with this because I walk the line right with my moral side and my conscience and I do have a heart and I do want to help people but there is a point where you have to say look this is business right so I, I don't mail hard there's a lot of guys that would mail harder than me um, so I'm just kinda of walking that line and if I send out three emails a day and people get upset then I won't do it for a few days or something like that so you know we kind of just do these different tactics and we want to teach you social media uh, we build crazy lists on LinkedIn and Twitter I'm not so much a fan of lately um, it's good for some traffic and stuff like that um, but like LinkedIn and Facebook my god like if I showed you what I'm doing in LinkedIn it would blow your mind Lewis Howell uh, didn't teach us one thing I'm doing I I've never seen any now don't I'm not gonna say nobody's not teaching it I don't believe anybody's teaching it because I pretty much have every course on LinkedIn. But there's going to be few courses I don't have because I don't know everybody in the business, right? I only know our our circle, and our circles like Mike Phil Sane, you know, Frank Kern, Trey Smith, all those type of people, you know, uh, Russell Brunson, Mike Diller, those type of people, you know, Mike. Um, what's his name from Texas? Just slipped my mind. I had it on the tip of my tongue, but anyways. Those kind of guys. That's my circle. <laughs> He's laughing. Troy's laughing because you know Ryan Dice. You got it. Troy's laughing because he knows that I'm not really too much a fan of most of those people. But anyways, that's the people that I look at. Okay, I don't see the other side. I know there's other people out there that do big businesses, but they're not on our radar because they're not in our scene, right? So they could be doing big numbers. We don't know. I, I met a lady the other day, Melanie Duncan, um, through Facebook, and she actually, well. I won't say too much about her courses, but she does very well in a certain course, and uh, <laughs> that she has catered to female. Um, but you know, that's just another marketer out there that's pulling down millions of dollars that I didn't know about. I didn't know she was on Good Morning America and all that stuff. I didn't know, right? I'm not into that, so I found out, and now I'm strategically figuring out how she's doing it so I can replicate it, which is what I do. So you guys know, I pick apart everybody's stuff. So, and, and I want to show you how to do traffic 24 7, 365 days a week with ClickBank ads and all that stuff. Anything that you can make money at, I want to show you how to do because I do it. Uh, she ain't no gangster like you. <laughs> so, anyways, that's cool. Like, that's pretty cool, right? But here's the thing I don't want to do this and, and, and say, okay, here I'm going to teach you everything and then screw off and hope that you make money by the summertime or whatever because we're in May right now which summertime is like in another month or whatever um, I don't know when <laughs> my wife tells me oh summer today oh, okay great <laughs> uh, she's telling me I gotta open the pool this week so it's gotta be getting close um, but I want you to make money this month now I can't guarantee you a number I'm gonna guarantee you five hundred to a thousand dollars I should be able to get you to make if I can't, um, 
I'm, I'm going to put this on record. I probably shouldn't be teaching that much. Okay, that's the simple truth. If I can't get you to make that kind of money, then there's something seriously wrong. Either you didn't take action or didn't do what I said to do, or I shouldn't be teaching. But it's, I'm just teaching exactly what I do. So in that case, you should be able to make that money. Correct? Correct. Right. So that's cool. Knowledge we teach is pretty weak. Yeah, I do some pretty crazy LinkedIn stuff. I'm pretty sure uh, most people wouldn't. Um, Mari Smith actually has some kind of something out there that's totally taken from me, um, but it's a watered down version of a tactic I had. Uh, there's a bunch of guys that got stuff like that, uh, but anyways, we don't get into that. I'm not talking. I'm not. I don't. Not playing the name game tonight. But anyways, so how how will you make money this month? Okay, so you're gonna say there. All right, Mike. I'm in. Right. I'm in. I want to do it. Let's do it. Right. But I want to tell you something. How are you gonna make money this month? Okay. So I got this little. No doohickey grid chart here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna discuss tactics. Okay. So what I showed you how I made that hundred and eighteen dollars. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Not only that, I'm gonna set it up for you. Okay. So that it's all set up exactly the way I do it. And if it fails, then it's because of me. It's not because of you. Right. So that's what I'm. I'm really putting myself out there with this one. It's probably something. I don't know. It's going to be good, put it that way, <laughs> okay, because it's all like case study stuff for me, basically, okay, and then we're going to partner together on something that's really cool. Um, so I'm basically going to build your business for you in not so many words. I can't physically say that because of FTC, but we're going to, we're going to do some crazy stuff, okay? So I'm going to show you how I do marketing stuff, building a list, right? I'm going to show you how I do my Facebook stuff, my verticals on Facebook, so how I build a Facebook page, and then I have sub pages, and then I send them... To, to, to websites and I make money on those websites then I funnel it all back through and do all this crazy insane stuff right um, I'm going to show you how to get ranked in LinkedIn I'm going to show you how to build groups in LinkedIn mail those groups right get those groups very responsive I'm going to show you how to take your LinkedIn contacts ed of LinkedIn okay if you're listening to me this is the part you want to hear that nobody teaches I'm going to show you how to take your contacts out of LinkedIn again out of LinkedIn put them in an email responder again out of LinkedIn into an email responder okay if you're following me <laughs> this is a tactic nobody's teaching that I can find anyways um, and mail them okay that's what we're gonna do and um, I'm gonna show you how to build fast fast followings on LinkedIn okay because we all know the only way you can build following on LinkedIn is if you're first degree or second degree or you know get a repertoire or whatever with those people but I put like hundreds of people on my account each day I contacted LinkedIn and they had to fix my account so that I could do it and I have the emails James can vouch for this and he'll put a yes in the chat box I showed him the email from LinkedIn this is not a lie I'll have to find the email for the people that that join me on this uh, I'll show you they actually fixed my account so that I could do what I do Okay, now I don't know any other social media expert out there that contacts the sites and says, "Look, I want to do this." <laughs> I know you're not letting people do that. Um, let me do it. All right, and they said, "Yeah, sure." And they actually they actually said, "James can vouch for this." They actually said, "We're excited that you're building this kind of following and taking advantage of LinkedIn in this manner." <laughs> I'm like, "What?" I'm like, totally like. I'm not supposed to be doing what I'm doing and they're like yeah thanks for doing it I'm like okay whatever <laughs> it, it's pretty funny but anyway so I did contact the support they hooked me up and then we had to get another thing changed um, so I was talking to two different people it's pretty cool and I've never heard anybody else say that, that. so that's uh, I was pretty excited about it. okay so then we're gonna start taking action with my assistance and we're gonna group coach each other right so we're gonna say okay well this failed why did it fail okay why did this fail? Why is this not converting the way it should be converting? So we're going to get that kind of that one-on-one -on -one that that you don't get with people, right? So then we're going to share our results. We're going to test it so it makes more money, and then we're going to like tweak it out and then document everything. So everything's going to be documented, okay? And there's a reason for that that we're going to document everything, okay? But I de I definitely need a commitment from you guys. So obviously I'm going to be investing my time and my life into this project. So I do need a commitment from you, okay? So there, if I wanted to put, I'm not going to go into all this. If you can see the slides, okay? This is the kind of stuff I charge offline. I know you're going to look at that hundred grand and say BS, but I do charge that kind of money, 
Okay, there's companies that get involved with me, and I build them lists and stuff like that, and, and they have to like give me ownership of their company, um, basically, um, to to pay me. So it's kind of pretty cool what I'm able to do because of the information I have, right? Um, so you know, I build lists for different type of websites. They have to give me retainers, all kinds of stuff. But I, I have a real business. I have real lawyers. Um, I'm looking for a new lawyer right now. I need a girl lawyer is what I need. Men lawyers seem not to get me. <laughs> I need a girl lawyer that's fierce, go getter. Um, but yeah, so we do that kind of stuff. Um, I do have these courses live. I don't think half of them you can buy right now, um, but there is stuff out there, right? So if you were to take all that stuff and if you've seen the screens, it's, it's quite a bit, right, to teach you all that stuff and to do all that. So I set out and I thought, and this is legitimate, I said to James, what the heck could I charge for this thing, okay? First off, it has to be a number, and I know people are going to leave right now, but I want you to see this. I want stay, even if you don't give a crap about any of this, stay because I want you to stay till the end. Um, what could I charge for this realistically that's worth my time, okay, worth my time, um, worth your time, but it, it's a number that makes you commit yourself, okay? So it's an investment that says, yeah, I'm invested in this. I want to make that money, right? Um, so we kind of came up with the idea, like maybe you know, nine ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety seven bucks. That would be huge, okay? That would be probably a really good number to charge for this. Um, but it made me nervous. It, like I don't know how to explain it, but I'm this kind of like this guy is. I don't like to take advantage of people. I don't like to do anything like that. But I'm putting a lot of stuff into this, and it has to work, okay? This is literally like the first time I've ever done this. So it's like putting my neck on the line. This if this could ruin me. <laughs> so it's going to work. It will 100% work what we're going to do because I'm going to give you exactly the tactics that I do. So I'm putting myself out there. I'm like, well, what can we charge you know, for my time, stuff like that, and, uh, you know, and be very transparent about it. So there's pretty realistic numbers, and I know there's some guys on here that would pay that, would realistically pay that to, to do this, right? Um, <laughs> I just seen a couple numbers that popped up there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do an eight-week course, okay? So I'm going to take eight weeks out of my life, and I'm going to spend it with you, okay? Now, there is some limitations on this, okay? Uh, because I need, obviously, I need to have family time. You're going to have to have family time, stuff like that. We're going to do some stuff. But I'm not going to launch any other products, and I'm going to do this course, okay? So that's what tells you that this is legit for me. I'm not launching any other products, nothing else. We're doing this. We're going to document it all, and then we're going to launch a product together, okay? So, and you're going to be a partner in it, which means you're not an affiliate. You're in a partner in it, okay? We'll figure out all the the details on that or whatever, um, but we're going to do it. And because we're going to use all the stuff that we've learned, this bad boy is going to convert like mad. That's all I'm going to say, okay? So that's what we're going to do. All right, there's other people out there that'll, that are going to charge you probably double the number I'm going to tell you. There's actually a course right now. I know it's converting very well, and it's not even anything near what I want to teach you. Um, and there, just so you know, prior to going into this, there's no videos or anything right now. This is the live one-on-one -on -one stuff, okay? It's going to be recorded and uploaded, obviously, so you can access it and download it. But there is no pre-built course for this because it's literally me handing my business to you. Right, so I can't build a course around that. My God, I'd spend a year building it out, right? So if we do it live, it'll make a ton of sense to you. Okay, so all I want, the only commitment I need from you right now, and this is limited. I think uh, I can't remember the number we set it to, but it's a, it's a certain number, and we'll hit it probably like right away. Uh, it's not too many because I can't have too many people calling and texting, getting on a call, and all that stuff with me. But anyway, so. Four hundred and ninety-seven dollars one time, no reoccurring. Okay, no reoccurring, no monthly membership fees, nothing like that, nothing at all. Okay.